Tuliongea juu ya two beings. Ni God and the devil. Those are the two powerful beings that fight for your soul. And I say God has given us the power. Mungu ametupatia uwezo wa kuchagua. You can choose what you want to have. You can choose to have God or you can choose to follow the other being. The difference between God and Satan, God created Satan. So God is superior to Satan. When Satan was created, he was the chief angel in heaven. He created everything, including angels and even Satan himself. And Satan was in charge of praise, worship in heaven. He was in charge of, he was a chief singer or worshiper in heaven. Now, we don't have to talk about 
duniani. Sasa ndio makao yake hadi somos among us. He moves around. Na ameja na dadafu mingi sana kwa sababu ya kusukuma hapa chini na Mungu. And he's working hard. Anapata kila jambo kuharibu mwanadamu. Anajaribu, anapata kila jambo kupotosha. Tunasoma katika kitabu ya Job. Wakati Job alikuwa alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alimwabudu Mungu. Na Job alikuwa amebarikiwa, amebarikiwa kifedha, amebarikiwa ki pamoja na watoto. He was a blessed man. Satan alionea wivu eh 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 Job. akamwambia Mungu, "Mimi nataka nijaribu huyu mtu. Alafu utaona bila atakukana." Na Mungu alikuwa anajua eh Job hapo namna gani kwake. Mungu alikuwa anajua msamao wa wa job na akaruhusu shetani aende amjaribu huyu mtu na kweli job alijaribiwa alipoteza mali yake alipoteza watoto yake aka shetani akapata juhudi ni kuharibu kila kitu yenye ilikuwa ya maana katika upande wa job na job akaendelea kumwabudu huyu mtu aka prove shetani ro akaendelea kumwabudu Mungu ilikuwa imeenda kiwango ya kwamba mke wa Job akamwangalia na akamwambia sasa utaendelea kumwabudu Mungu mpaka wapi na ameoachilia wewe watoto wako umeangamia eh mali yako yote imeenda na sasa tena umeshikwa na ugonjwa yenye imeku imekulalisha chini hata kuna mwezi chochote lakini jo alirudi akamwambia bibi yake mimi wewe mwanamke wewe ni mjinga alimwambia wewe mwanamke ni mjinga she was a fool she was a fool she did not that it is god who created all this So Satan is filled with fury. Now I have to show you that in Revelation 12. For the devil has come down to you. And I say that the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you. Have you great wrath? Hapo na gatapu baya sana. Because he knows that he has a short time. Shetani anajua hapo na nafasi kidogo. He is aware. Na hapo na kadhafu. Na hapo na fury. Fury ya kuangamiza. The thief cannot know but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Ati amekuja kuiba kuharibu kugandamisha he has come to the strong lakini Jesus anasema he has come that you might have life and have more abundant praise the lord amen so tukae tukijua ya kwamba shetani hapo hapa si kwa kukupembeleza si kwa kukuhurumia hapo hapo na hasira kali sana na anafanya kazi 24/7 kukuangamiza anajaribu kila hali ili aweze kukuabidi. Nataka tusome the next verse. Eh? Revelation 2:10. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Do not fear, praise the Lord. Mungu amesema tusiogope mambo ambayo tuko karibu ku kupitia. Na kweli kuna mambo mengi ambayo tumeyapitia chini ya jua. 
Kuna wengine sasa wa gas tume tumekumbana na mambo mazito katika maisha yetu. Wengine tumeingia katika hali ya magonjwa. Wengine tumeingia katika hali ya ya kusumbuka. And there's nothing that it, it, this this is all because of the devil. Wengine tumepoteza wapendwa. Wengine wamelala na hospitali ni sahi. Do not fear any of those things which you, you are about to suffer. Kuna wengine atujui nini inatumboa yako mbele katika maisha yako ya Kristo. Atujui nini iko hapo mbele. Lakini tumeambiwa tusiogope ambao hatuyajui. Akasema Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison. Indeed. Ako kazi, aje badalika. That you may be tested, hindi mujaribiwe, file job and mujaribiwa. And you will have tribulation. Mutakuwa na mambo ambao, yana yata, yata, sukuma, sukuma. So, when I say, God is telling us, do not fear to see your gope. Kwa sababu majaribu ni mei na tunayapitia. Bwana asikwe sana. Amen. Katika John 16.26 Tumesema ya kwamba the devil is the prince of lies. Ye ni mutu ya ye ni the author of lies. Ye ni the author of Temptations. Yet you the order of everything that is evil. Yani kila kitu yenye inaenda opposite. It doesn't whatever it, it doesn't please God. He is the order of all these things. But in in in, in John Ah uh, in John in that day you will you will ask in my name and I do not say to you that I shall pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and I believe that I came from God. Praise the Lord. In that day of all those situations where you, whatever you are going through, whatever persecutions you go through, or even in that prison that the, the word of God says, in the prisons of all sorts of problems. It doesn't necessarily have to be the prison ya ya ile gender ya Kenya ile ya GK prisons. But prisons of some situation. Yani mambo fulani ambayo tunayapitia. Like in like in the, in the present time what is happening is that the our economy is so bad. It's so bad that some of us are going hungry. Some people are sleeping hungry. Now, what we did, we ended up, 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 we Na shetani anawaweka wapu katika prison ya shida. Kuko katika prison ya shida. Yesterday there was somebody who came to my, to our home. Aka hivya anipata hapo hivya. The man looked so weak. Na alikuwa na very dry lips. Akuja aka niambia, kama huku na kitu chochote ya mbao unaesa kumisaidia nifani. Ata nipate shiriki ni ya moja, nipelikia watoto ya hama. And I said, to Melana, one week with the no food. Eh? So, to the English, we are going to be a little bit of a shame. The devil puts us in such a terrible situation. And you find yourself in a place where it is like a prison like. Satan is capable of doing such to you. Brethren, I want to tell you that Satan is very much alive. Very much 
a twerk. In the days when Jesus was taken home to fast, and he went up to fast in the mountain, that is where the devil took him through some sort of temptations. Akaenda kumjaribu. Akamwambia abadilishe hii mawe sijui ikwe mukate kwa sababu alijua ye hapo na njaa. What did Jesus tell the devil? Akamwambia man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Akaendelea akamwambia ati God Ujiangushe kutoka hapa juu uende uanguke huko chini na Mungu atatuma malaika wa kuja wafanye nini? Na Jesus answered and he said you shall not tempt your God the God. Hmm? And so the devil is ready to tempt everyone. Satan is at work charge. Trying to shake us trying to put us to remove us from the presence of God. Trying to do everything possible to win you and to join him. Amen. Amen. This is what I want you to be aware. Have you ever wondered if Jesus was also tempted by the devil on the mountain? During the time of his fasting, who are you? Who am I? That the devil cannot visit with me. He who could, could tempt God, Baba, Mugesu, Abba, Nituumba. If we could go and talk to him, and 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 kumshawishi, apanye kijume na mapenzi ya mungu. Who are you? Who are you to the devil? But let me come back to, the, to you and tell you this. God, when he created us, God gave us a will. He gave us the power to choose. He gave us the power the power to choose. You in a kangana shetani. Shetani has never understood and can never overpower you to make decision and say no. The decisions lay you have the power to resist. To resist the devil. Praise the Lord. We have the power to resist the devil. The Bible says, for this reason, because the devil is here, and for the reason of our other, our, our forefathers, Adam and Eve. Because of their disobedience to God. Because of disobeying God. In the Garden of Eden, they sinned against God. And for that reason, because of their sin, we were all born into sin. Praise the Lord. Tulisaliwa katika hali ya dambi. Kila kutu. Even that child is born of sinful nature. Amo katika hali ya dambi. Kwa sababu ya our forefathers. And it was brought because the devil cheated him. The devil anishawishi kukewa Adam. Akune ina tunda ambawa alikuwa mekatazwa. You shall wish you a shetani unendelea to date. Anendelea kushawishi sisi. Anendelea kutushawishi. So, the power that 
was given to Eve the power of of choice ya kuchagua and misuse uchaguzi wake akadisai kufuata shetani ndio tukaambukizwa na dhambi sisi wote from the days of when we were born even to date but what does the bible say for god so loved the world john 3:16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life let me say it again children for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life the continuation of this recording will continue in the next episode have a blessed viewing and god bless you